standard position about is about locating a position in the xy plane and we can do this in two ways one using an angle or two using an x and y coordinate and the x and y coordinate then relates to the ratio form of the angle so if i'm taking a look at c and i'm going to find the position 315 degrees negative i need to go in this direction that's the negative direction going in that direction and I need to go 180, 270, and another 45 degrees, and I'm going to end up in quadrant 1. So I've gone negative 315 degrees in that position. And again, it, the, there's other ways to get to that same position, but that position is what I'm looking for. And that position is then going to be defined by an X position, along the horizontal and a y position along the vertical and that little triangle helps us locate that position of negative 315 degrees that same position can be located using a ratio this ratio of cosine of negative root 3 over 2 cosine is the adjacent side over hypotenuse but we're going to change this to the x position over the radius so in this case the x position is going to be negative root 3 the radius is 2 so if I'm going to draw that I'm going to go negative root 3 which is about 1.1 1.7 and then the radius being 2 so that's going to give me a position somewhere around here so that length here is about root 3 in the negative direction that radius is 2. I, need to, I should draw that a little bit more accurately because it's going to end up being more like that. So there's my position. Again, this position is can be identified with these ratios because the location of that position based on the horizontal position and the radius can be located. And that is all the alternative to this angular rotation and it looks like it's about positive 150 degrees okay now I happen to know this but we can always find this angle theta using our calculator there's one other thing that's involved in this particular question is that the angle the angle could be in this quadrant but since the quadrant is not given there is another position that we can draw that has the same radius of 2 and negative root 3 positioning and that's this one in quadrant 3. So when the quadrant is not known there are actually two positions that we have to account for and we call this first one the red one we'll call that theta 1 and the second position we'll call theta 2 okay? and it's going to be located by that other that other angle.